Hi all. My name is Emmett. I am a 21 year old non-binary transgender person and as of tomorrow, November 24th, I am officially four months on testosterone. So I wanted to make an update video about what's been happening in the last month because some really interesting things have changed. So first of all, my voice has dropped. Not a whole lot, but it definitely has dropped and that was one thing that I was really upset about. You know, in my last video, I kind of hit my three months and was expecting the sort of not, you know, common or even standard because everyone's transition is different, but expecting results that I wasn't getting based on some other people's transitions. And that that was a real bummer for me. So it's been really interesting having this voice drop and, and learning how to talk again because it's been difficult to project my voice and my voice it feels different to speak. I keep hitting different registers that I've never hit before and, and it physically feels different in my throat and that's been something interesting, you know, dealing with in the last month. So, you know, hopefully it'll keep dropping a little bit. Some other things that have changed, uh, muscles and stuff, especially in my shoulder area, are getting a lot broader than they have been in the last three months. I I'm seeing those differences a lot in, in what I'm wearing and and, and how I look in clothing, as well as how I look out of clothing. So that's been really interesting. Fat has been redistributing more too. So I've been seeing, especially in my midsection, fat's kind of moving up. So rather than having more of an hourglass figure, kind of like having a straighter figure, you know, definitely not anywhere close to you know, what I would like to see, but you know, it's it's getting there and that's that's really rad. Some other things that have changed, my face has been changing a lot. It doesn't really convey, I think, on camera or in pictures so much, but I, I keep catching myself looking at myself in the mirror as I pass by having to do a double take because my face looks so different. My my jawline is starting to square out a lot, you know, which it, it definitely wasn't before, and I'm seeing a lot of changes in my face, so that's kind of cool. The only kind of thing about that is that I'm kind of in this middle stage of my transition where people are now finding it really difficult to read me, which on one hand is interesting and is kind of welcomed because I'm going to get to a point where people are going to be reading me as a man and that makes me really uncomfortable because I don't identify as one. But on the other hand, it, it's a really dangerous position to be in. I'm getting a lot of, a lot of people staring at me on the bus and in public kind of giving me that look, like they can't quite pin me down, they don't know what I am, and I'm getting a lot of people who who feel really entitled to my body, feel really entitled to the need to know <laughs> what gender I am. There have been a couple altercations and, and things that I've had recently, so that's kind of, you know, scary, but hopefully, you know, in the next couple of months that won't really be a problem. Recently, my doctor and I changed my dose. I was taking 80 milligrams a week, so that's 0.4 ml a week, and we changed it, we dropped it down to 60 milligrams, which is 0.3, because I was having really severe migraines, and I did some blood work, and my testosterone was a little high, so we decided to drop it lower and see uh, how it affects my body, and since then, you know, my, my headaches and my migraines have been a lot better, which is good, and, you know, hopefully then I'll see some more steady results, because if the testosterone is too high in my body, then it's, you know, kind of slowing down my transition. Yeah, I mean, those are my general sort of testosterone-related updates. I'm just seeing a lot of changes in my face and in my body, and it's all, like, really exciting and new and weird and getting used to a lot of things that I, you know, haven't had before, going through a second puberty, dealing with acne and, and all of that wonderful stuff that comes with it. So, yeah, I mean, it's been fun. It's been it's been a really interesting process and and I definitely want to continue it and and I plan on continuing it for the rest of my life. I feel a lot more comfortable in my body. I feel a lot less dysphoria in general. I feel, you know, much more connected to myself and and to to how I want to to be read and to portray my body to the general public and and it's been nice like kind of having that relief after you know, well over a year of being out as trans and, and having to deal with the sort of rampant misgendering and mispronouning and, and those sort of things and kind of having a mild break from it is really nice. 
So today is the 23rd, which means in five weeks, I'm going to be having top surgery. And I'll be having top surgery with Dr. Satterway. He works with Crane Brownstein's office in San Francisco. He's really, really awesome. I had a phone consultation with him, and he's been really helpful about answering my questions and getting in touch with me. I finally got all of the information out to my insurance, you know, approved my claim, no problem, and I, they got back to me about it, so that's super exciting. The date's totally booked. All I have to do is buy tickets and hotels and, and deal with all of that stuff, but aside from that, like, I'm, I'm set. I'm getting top surgery in a month, and I'm really, 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 really stoked about it. Um, it's pretty rad Christmas present, I'd say. So, yeah, so those are just some of the things that are going on in my life. You know, in general, just trying to stay healthy. I know that getting sick right before top surgery can keep you from getting it. So I'm, you know, trying to stay in drinking lots of fluids, trying to get as much sleep as possible, trying not to be super stressed about my quarter and, you know, stuff that's going on with my roommate and, and all that good stuff and just trying to trying to just enjoy what's going on and the changes that are coming and everything that I'm seeing. So yeah, that's an update of my life. So um, I'll make a five month video when it comes up or, you know, sooner if anything is immediate and needs serious attention. So I'll see you in a month. Bye.